Good Friday is the day when Christians commemorate Jesus Christ's crucifixion. On Good Friday, we remember the day Jesus willingly suffered and died by crucifixion as the ultimate sacrifice for our sins. For Christians, Good Friday is a very significant day of the year because it celebrates what we believe to be the most important time in the history of the world. On Good Friday, the entire church is attentive to the cross at Calvary as we try to grapple with the love Christ offered and willingly suffered for our redemption. In the solemn ceremonies of Good Friday, in the adoration of the cross, in the chanting of the reproaches, in the reading of the Passion, and in receiving the pre-consecrated host, we unite ourselves to Jesus and we contemplate our own death to sin in the crucifixion of our Lord. The church stripped of its ornaments, the altar bare, and with the door of the empty tabernacle standing open, it is as if in mourning. The liturgical observance has been in existence from the earliest days of the church. No Mass is celebrated on this day. There is a service usually around 3 p.m. or after on Good Friday and communion in the species of bread which had, been, which had already been consecrated on Holy Thursday is given to the congregation. Traditionally, the instruments and the choir are downplayed until the Alleluia at the Easter Vigil. The only music during this period is unaccompanied chant. The desolate quality of the rites of this day reminds us of Christ's humiliation and suffering during his Passion. This liturgy has no beginning and no ending. The Stations of the Cross is celebrated during the Fridays of Lent. On Good Friday, this devotional exercise which helps us to meditate on the sufferings of Jesus also become a Christian witness as many parishes go out into the streets to publicly witness to their belief in Jesus. However, this is not an official part of the Tridium. Holy Thursday, Good Friday, and Easter Vigil or Sunday. Therefore, it is one if one participates in this devotional exercise, a person is still required to attend the Good Friday liturgy. Jesus demands an active response from us identification with the poor and marginalized, with sinners and migrants, with all peoples we keep at a distance to appease our consciences. The beautiful hymn composed by Bishop Clyde Harvey encompasses it. Whatsoever you do to the least of my brothers and sisters, you do unto me. Yes, we are responsible for the hungry, the thirsty, the naked, the sick, the imprisoned. This is a limitless obligation. Taking up our cross is more than accepting the trials that come our way. It is a renewed call each day to follow Jesus. As Jesus suffered and died on the cross, he takes all our sins with him. And so on Good Friday, we are suffering on the cross with Jesus. All our sins are on the cross with Jesus so that we could have new life at the resurrection. <music>